All right, we can now upgrade Skyhold's courtyard. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Craft. Cool. And well, we can also do the garden. Let's go ahead and do the garden. Craft. Awesome. Awesome. Consider it done. Okay. We did it. Doesn't look any better. Doesn't look any better. <laughs> we have to go. Ah, ah, aha. Okay. This is the hard part. Okay, yeah, we're going to do a sparring ring because awesome. Where's it at? Yeah! That's boring. I wasted so much elf root for that. What you guys doing? You guys want to talk about it instead? Why are you guys using real swords? Maybe you should use practice swords. You mind if you keep it down? I'm being loud. Cassandra practices on dummies. You guys should practice on dummies. You better than Cassandra? No. Oh, big guy, you getting you getting rocked. She's headbutting you. She's a oh shield to the face. What a big disgrace. What are you? Ancient elves? Are you ancient? You are ancient elf. What are you chatting up the Dalish? That's kind of that's kind of weird. You got to be like four thousand years old or something. She's like twenty. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go check in with the war council. Colin just said, sent a "Hey, I'm done" message. So we're gonna go do that because that is Samson. We're gonna judge him. And we should be off doing everything else. Okay. Oh, um, let's also upgrade the guard while we're here. Let's do that. Um. Oh, okay. We'll do the. We'll do this one. I'm trying to play up the whole opiate of the masses thing. Let's play to their religious side. Um. Hmm. I wish, is there a way to replace this? I wish I could just put some simple elf root in there. But that's okay. This, this isn't much of an improvement. I don't feel like I got my money's worth. Alright, off to the war council. Alright, uh, where are you at? Samson Except we have secured Samson in the holding pens your worship. He not said much. We'll bring out the villain for judgment at your pleasure. Deal with Lord Vassal Mathar, moron. Except Um how long until an hour? Okay. Nothing new it looks like. Okay. So let's go deal with Samson. All right, bring out the jerk. Forgive me, Inquisitor. For personal interest, I have relieved Josephine, as you might expect. Knight Templar Samson, general to Corythius, traitor to the order. The blood on his hands cannot be measured. His head is too valuable to take. Kirkwall, or Lay, many would see him suffer. I can't say I'm not one of them. Huh. The headman's axe isn't enough? That's an impressive amount of ill will. The Red Lyrium will steal your vengeance. You know what it does. Corypheus only delayed my corruption. Are you still loyal to that thing? He poisoned the Order, used them to kill thousands. Templars have always been used. 
How many were left to rot like I was after the Chantry burned away their minds? Piss on it. I followed him so Templars could at least die at their best. Same lie as the Chantry. The Prophet just isn't as pretty. <laughs> I found your people. They believed in you. Believed your cause was righteous. Not your business, Inquisitor. Your friend Maddox was so loyal he killed himself for you. They were always going to die. I saw what Corypheus was doing. So yes, I fed them hope instead of despair. I made them believe their pain had purpose, just like the Chantry does. <laughs> right, Commander? It ended as well as anything else I've done. Corypheus would kill me on sight. I'll tell your people what they want. Everything I cared about is destroyed. Huh. All right, you know what? I wish, okay, I would. I wish this is what we could do, okay? I wish we can go, all right, Dagna's going to study you, Colin's going to question you, I'm going to shove you in a hole. We're going to then exile you to the wilderness, then hunt you like a dog, and then give you to Kirkwall. That's what I wish I could say. But no, I can only choose one choice. Free choice in games, my ass. Samson, you can still be of use to good people. What you know is less important than what you are. My Arcanist will study your resistance to Red Lyrium. Do as you will, Inquisitor. Your kind always does. <laughs> All right, get out of here. Flush that turd down the toilet. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's me. It's I Hate Will. How you doing today? I'm doing just fine. This is my good friend Dell, the dual wielding dwarf, and he's ready to. Oh, he's ready to level up. And today we are playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Now we have an upgraded courtyard. We're doing quite well. Good job, buddy. Uh, but what we're going to do today is visit Morrigan at the altar of Mithal. She has something very important to show us, I assume. Alright, so Morgan is over here. Let's go visit with her. And we'll travel. Alright, let's bring Dorian. Let's actually bring all our mages. Why not? Seems like something they should all be involved in. And confirm. I hope no combat is happening. Because that... So, that was a bad idea. This is the place. It is. Look for an altar, ancient but still standing. All right, well, I'm afraid we are going to fight. <laughs> it's okay, though. Hey, we made our bed. We're going to lay in it with all our mages. All right, we're going to upgrade real fast. I'll be right back. All right, we're going to roll out. Realize during that I really need to upgrade these guys' armor. I have some pretty good blank pieces. Got to upgrade it. Uh, oh, this place is beautiful. Look at this. Huh. Sun shining through. Nice. All right. There. Do you see it? Yeah. Is this it? Oh, we'll loot. Oh, nothing to loot. All right, let's just use it. Let's see how it goes. Tis all that remains of the great altar. We few who travel far. Call to me, and I will come, without mercy, without fear. Cry havoc in the moonlight. Let the fire of vengeance burn. The cause is clear. A very old invocation. Perfectly translated. Why, thank you. Oh, that's very nice of him to say that. Strange that there wasn't an altar like this at Mithal's temple. The temple was a place of justice, but this... Is different. This was where the elves called to her, spoke to her. Then one day she disappeared, and there was no one with whom to speak. Your companions will need to go elsewhere. Scram! If there is shouting, they will hear it readily enough. Who 
I am. From high priest to high priest, I am the last to drink of sorrows. Come to us, Mithal. Whatever you are, whatever remains, I invoke your name and your power. What happened? What happened? Oh, snap! Mother. Mother? Now, isn't this a surprise? <laughs> I take it you know her. She is a deceiving witch! Oh, she got mommy issues. Now, now, that's quite enough of that. <gasps> what have you done to me? I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. Then you are Mithal? Oh. Mithal was an elven god. You, you're... Human? <laughs> Not a word many have used for me in a very long time. I do not understand. How can you be Mathal? Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mathal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Uh, pff, wow. Then you carry Mithal inside you. She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald indeed, shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. That's me. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. All right. Then you're Mithal and Morrigan's mother. As well as a witch who prolongs her unnatural life by possessing the bodies of her daughters. That's what you believe, is it? I found your grimoire, and I am no fool, old woman. <laughs> Yet here you stand, bound into my service. My daughter ran from me long ago. I've let her be, until now, it seems. Oh. If Mithal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mithal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth. And I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Oh, that's, that's really poetic. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Trees in the way. things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed. As the Trees world in the way. was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me. And I will see her avenge. Oh, jeez. Alas, 
So long as the music plays, we dance. This meeting was no accident, was it? Clever lad. The voices came from you? The price of the well seemed no dire thing when you saw so much gain. Mm -hmm. The voices did not lie, Morrigan. I can help you fight Corypheus. Do you understand, child? Yes. I think I do. All right. Wait! I wish to see who drank from the Well of Sorrows. It has been a very long time. Imagine my surprise to discover it was you. And that is all. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. So what she give you? All things considered, Inquisitor, I now wish you had drunk from the well. <laughs> Forced to obey your mother, huh? Ouch. What she said is true, at least. I have the answer to your problem. I can match the Archdemon's power when the time comes. All that remains is for you to find Corypheus. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Okay. I think we're going to cut it short right there. But for now, this is Will. I am signing off. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time.